Morning everyone. Um, so today we set up a messy art activity for the children um, and this is inspired by the story um, Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh and it's about three little white mice, um, naughty little mice that jump into um, three different pots of colored paint, um, red, yellow, and blue. So the primary colors. Um, and what happens is throughout the story is the mice change colors. So they jump into the pots of paint, they turn red, blue, and yellow, and then um, they end up making puddles on the paper. And then um, the mice end up changing colors. They turn into the secondary colors as they mix um, the primary colors together. So then they end up with um, orange, green, and purple colors too. So we've put out different items on the table for the children um, to explore color mixing today, um, all based on the primary colors. So we've got a lot of red. We have um, red paint, red, uh, yellow paint. We have pots of blue paint. We have a variety of different um, art tools and manipulatives that the children can use. We've got some chunky brushes. We've also got some fine, um, smaller brushes. We've also got some um, mark making scrapers too. Um, these are chunky ones for toddlers. We've also put out some watercolor paints for the children and we've added a variety of different um, items on the table. We have some um, popsicle sticks. We have yellow, um, red and blue so they can use these to mix the colors and then they can see the different colors they make. We also put the cat bowl out um, so we can put water in that so they can mix their brushes and wash their brushes on the water. I've put out some of the um, shadow blocks too um, because these are really great for uh, learning about light and reflections and different colors. Um, so we've put a few of those out for the children to look and explore. Um, we've also got some wooden blocks on the back there in the sorting tray. Um, I thought it would be a nice idea for the children to paint some of our blocks. So we can put some primary colored blocks or secondary colored blocks into our construction corner. And then we've also just added like little, the little the characters from the books. So we've got like the little mice on the table and we've put white paper down on the table so the children can take, they can take a brush, they can dunk the brush into the paint and then they can just mark make straight away onto the table. Um, so in the end, our table is going to have some fantastic colors and um, different, different shades. Um, and we've also put some spare sheets of paper on the floor around too, so they can move um, and they can color mix in the different areas. So yes, um, very excited today to see how this is going to turn out, but I will keep everybody posted. See you later, bye.